Hello everybody and welcome back to eFootball 2022 on the channel where we are hunting for Paul Scholes. Yes, he is uh, available in the Manchester United Legend Packs. It's like they knew I wanted to spend some money. So first off, without further ado, uh, we're not going to go and spin for them. We're going to show you the team because the team has changed dramatically. Yes, this is our Football Manager Legends 11. Everyone that over the course of my life of playing football manager who has performed very well for me when I say course of my life over the last like five years and this is the squad we have so first off this will be a great time to go and say check out the Derby County save that we've just finished over on the other channel because it was absolutely incredible but uh, if we look at it here then so Dean Henderson in goal. Derby County. Um, yes, I'm not going to give any spoilers away in case people haven't watched it yet, but unbelievable goalkeeper for me in Derby County. In front of him is Gabriel, also from the Derby County save, and wonderful signing who we weirdly bought in from Chelsea, not from Arsenal. Uh, Diego Lietti is the other centre-back who was of NK Maribor fame when we won the Champions League with NK Maribor. Sergio Gomez at left-back, he was outstanding in my Sunderland save, rebuilding Sunderland. Uh, absolutely superb at left back there. And Dodo just, I've, I've lost track of how many saves I've had him in. He's been absolutely incredible in so many saves he comes into the team. Miguel Moreno at holding midfielder, again from Sunderland. In fact, it's a Sunderland-based midfield, believe it or not. We did sign Camavinga for Sunderland in the rebuilding Sunderland save. Uh, Lukonga's also at Derby as well, so we've got a bit of an overlap there. Camavinga, Lukonga, and Mikel Moreno all in here. Absolutely wonderful in the midfield. Jared Bowen on the left, on the right-hand side. Again, he had one. We had him on loan from Liverpool for one season at Sunderland, and he absolutely boshed in the goals. I think he scored 22 goals in one season, so he gets the cut. On the left-hand side is Amin Gueri. Uh, again, Sunderland save, absolutely brilliant. And then up front, the one, the only, Luka Zahovic, who is absolutely incredible. One of my favourite players for absolutely no reason. NK Maribor fame, we've brought him back to the club, sold him, brought him back to the club, sold him, brought him back again. And uh, he's just absolutely brilliant. On the bench, more club legends or football manager legends. Uh, Bazuno in goal, just absolute brilliance apps i mean look at their ratings they're terrible right but absolutely brilliant uh sardella at right back who was a one from i think nk maribor back in the day uh i, I just remember him being very very good from andalek so sardella joins which is great bielik of derby fame he's probably one that could potentially be replaced uh we'll have to see how that goes but before we sold him in the derby county save he was an absolute rock the club captain and was absolutely superb james war prowse Signed in the last series or the last season of the Derby County save and uh, was the in integral cog we needed to make the difference is how I would describe that. He has been absolutely amazing. Uh, Alexis McAllister in there from the Sunderland save as well. Really good player. Eddie Inketia, who is just absolutely insane for me in the Derby County save. Really, really good stuff. And Dane Scarlett's there as well. He was our top goal scorer for Sunderland across his whole career being there. And that is our football manager, Legends 11 slash squad. So, yeah, what a team that is. What a team. And let me know if there's people that you, if you've come from the other channel about football manager and you've seen this, let me know if I'm missing people who should put in like go back through series as far as you want there is a good shout for people like max bird josh de silva people like that but i feel like this gives us a, a good enough balance in terms of what we need to do it does allow us to change to a three at the back formation as well which i've sort of been getting used to on e football but let's get into it and go and spin and try and find paul skulls so the first spin is being done. I don't think it's a legend player. It doesn't sound like the right sort of drums and noises, but it is in the Premier League. I think all these players are Premier League based players. Three star, so it's not going to be brilliant. And it is going to be Iosi Perez from Leicester City. Yeah, not, not amazing. So the second player that we get is a four star Premier League player. And this one is a West Ham player by the looks of things. No, it's Burnley's Veghorst. Again, actually not a bad player in eFootball for his height and his physicality but uh, not, not who we're looking for. Right, we're on to spin number seven, I think. Seven or eight. Uh, still no skulls. Still no five-star players. Still nothing to write home about. It's another three-star player. Konami is really taking the piss. It's Divock Origi, though. So Sokater will be happy if you're watching, mate. I've got Divock Origi. There you go. You would probably argue, stop there. You don't need anything else. You've got the man, the myth, the legend that is Divock Origi. 
Oh, I thought that was the drums. I thought it was the big drums. It wasn't the big drums. So it's going to be another bog standard player. And uh, from the English League, as we know, it's going to be another three star. I swear I'm mopping up all the three star players. That's Eric Bai. It is Eric Bai, number three for Man United. The absolute lad that is Eric Bai. Absolutely bonkers at the back. But um, I think we'll give it to we'll give it ten spins, and if we haven't got it by ten, we'll go and play a game, and then I'll do some more spins after the game. Right, we're going to fifteen. Fifteen spins is what we're going with because I'd already at number ten, so we're going with fifteen. So five more, and if we don't get skulls, then uh, we'll go and play a game. It's another three star. I mean, come on, Konami. That's number thirty-one. That's Matic rubbish. Loads of these. I'm just going to release loads of these players at the end of the day. Like, just get the XP and the trainers. Uh, in there, come on! Oh, I still not. I keep thinking it's gonna do the loud drums. It's not the drums. Come on, Konami! What are you gonna give us? We know it's English league. It's, oh my god! We're just mopping up all the three-star players. This is dreadful. Maybe we need to do the old trick. Let's go and have a look at skulls. Let's go and have a look at Paul skulls. Look at him! Look at him! 87 rated. He's got a lot of uh, improvements. 12 levels of improvements though. But kicking power, stamina, aggression, low pass, lofted pass, ball control. He's going to be, he's just going to be awesome. And it's Paul Scholes, right? And it's Paul Scholes. He's going to be absolutely amazing. Right, now we've looked at him. What's he got? Heading, long range shooting, dipping shot, rising shot, first time shot, one touch pass, weighted pass, pinpoint crossing, low lofted pass, fighting spirit. Lovely, lovely stuff. Right, now that we've looked at him, give us Paul Scholes, Konami. Give us Paul Scholes. Give us Paul Scholes. Give us Paul Scholes. It's not the drums, damn it. It's not the drums. It's not going to be Paul Scholes. Oh, it's the uh, English League. It's going to at least give me a five-star. It's another three-star player. It's Cedric Suarez from Arsenal. Absolute tosh. Right, the last one. The last one to take us to 15, and then we're going to go and have a game. It's still not a legend. It's not Peter Schmeichel, Paul Scholes, or Dennis Law. Oh, man. I mean, Konami have screwed us over. It's been... All three-star players other than one four-star player. It's been absolutely shocking. It's a British Reze who's a great player. Already got him though, haven't I? Already got him. So, terrible. Terrible pulling from Konami. Let's go and have a game with the Football Manager Legends and see how we get on. Okay, so we found a game against MUT who's playing as Police Tero, which I think is a Thai team, which is interesting. Uh, he's got Lewandowski. We've got... Gabriel Magalhaes at the back, so excellent. That should be that should be a nice, even competition. Uh, let's go and see what the arrows are doing. The form arrows are looking very, very useful, which is good. And oh, Ward Prowse is down. That's a shame. McAllister is up for it. Dane Scarlett's up for it, and actually Guerri isn't. So we're going to change shape here. We're going to go two up front, like so. We're gonna go to a. Th we're gonna. We are gonna go to the three at the back shape that we've been playing with the main team, because what we can do is just push Gomez and Ronaldo up like so. Uh, Gabriel can come over to the right hand side. Diego Lietti can come into the middle like. Oh, just that will do. And uh, Mikel Moreno can sit at left back like that, and then we'll just put those a bit closer together, just to give us the shape we want. Lekonga can sit as the defence midfielder. Kamavinga can sit as the central midfielder there. And Bowen can sit nicely as a second striker in behind the strike force, which is uh, lovely, lovely stuff. Right, he has got a lineup of 4 1 3 2. Lewandowski and Suarez up front, which is interesting. Bruno Fernandes, Koke, Modric, De Jong, Renan Lodi, Varane, Van Dijk, Cancelo, and Manuel Neuer. So he's got a very, very strong team. Uh, we're now going to just mark up his players so we want Gabriel is on the right hand side in fact no we're not we're just going to say Diego Liotti is going to be very bold and man Mark Lewandowski in the middle and we're going to let the other two centre-backs sort of cover the space um what else do we want to do in here we sort of probably do want to just say now annoyingly lekonga has got a box-to-box -box role which is going to get he's going to want to push up we may swap. Yeah, they say they keep the same rating, actually. So let's do that. Let's put Kamavinga in there as the more defensive player. And uh, and we'll go with that because Lekonga was a box-to-box -box will then help get up and support. So we're going to go with that. Let's see how it goes. He's got a strong team. We really haven't. Um, Dane Scarlett gets a run out, so Ross will be happy. And, yeah, let's let's see how this one goes. Dane Scarlett and Luka Zahovic up front in a partnership. Absolutely Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Let's see how it goes. 
Here we are then. It's him to get us underway. And uh, he's, he's taking his sweet time. He's taking his sweet time. There we go. We're underway. And he's gone straight back to uh, Frankie de Jong. He's gone straight through the middle. Now, did he? has he noticed that I've changed for the way? Did he even? Oh, that's a poor pass from Camavinga. Did he even notice? Oh, he's just got Ryan Lietzi. Great save from Dean Henderson. Yeah, has he even looked at my team to suggest what, what we're doing shape-wise? Mikel Moreno can just fire this one straight up the line. Sergio Gomez back to Camavinga. So he's had the first early chance, and it was Lewandowski. Uh, Dean Henderson pulling off a good save. Dane Scala into Luka Zahovic. He's just looking to hold the ball up. Goes back to Laconga. He can go out wide because Sergio Gomez has a lot of space. Or oh, he's just put a nice block on that cross. Moreno, Laconga, Gomez, get up. There we go. Sergio Gomez plays a 1-2 with Jared Bowen. Sergio Gomez, can he swing this cross in? He does get it in towards Scarlett. The keeper's flaffed at it. Oh, and it's going to be cleared away. And uh, what we don't want to do is pull Camavinga out of position. As oh, I thought I'd intercepted that pass. Camavinga has to get back now up against Luis Suarez. And he gets a good block on it. And Sergio Gomez can pick it up. Fire it out towards the opposite wing with Dodo. Lukonga. Dodo again. Round the corner to Zahovic. Into Bowen. Bowen looks through for Dane Scarlett. Not a very good pass, though, from the, uh, the second striker of West Ham fame. Or we should argue, really, Sunderland fame. Because this is the FM Legends 11. Camavinga. Brings it out to Sergio Gomez. A lovely little one-two again. Sergio Gomez getting so much freedom down this side. Tries to bring out a bit of trickery to get around Van Dijk. And it sort of worked. Gomez still going. It was bobbling around. And uh, Jose Cancelo brings it away. Great interception from Laconga. Sergio Gomez. Oh, ref, that is definitely a foul. Thank you very much. 15 minutes in, we have a free kick. And unfortunately, we don't have James Ward-Prowse on the pitch. But uh, we have, apparently, Jared Bowen, who's not, yeah, not too bad, actually. Let's see if we can just uh, ping this one into that near post as Jared Bowen tries to bend it. He moved Neuer. Not a brilliant effort from Jared Bowen, but not, you know, we're, we're growing into the game. We've got a far weaker team, but uh, we'll have to see how we get on in this one as it's a long goal kick taken forward. Gabriel trying to win the header. Mikel Moreno will just mop that up. Camavinga out towards... Uh, Dodo, not seen too much of him yet. Laconga. Bowen flicks it into Dodo again, into Zahovic. Zahovic sees the run of Dodo, and Dodo is on a, a bit of a rampage here. And Dodo, is he fouled? No, he's not. Referee says play on. Bowen picks up the loose ball. Bowen is all left foot, we've got to remember. So we're not in a very good cross crossing position there. Laconga does swing a ball in. Zahovic at the back post. LZ90. What a ball from Laconga. And Luka Zahovic at the back post. What a finish from him. A little touch home with the right boot. And what a pass from Sambi Laconga. Oh my god, what a cross. That was absolutely insane. Jared Bowen kept it alive. Laid it back to Laconga here. And uh, the, the ball in across the back four. Into that corridor of uncertainty. Was just absolutely brilliant there from Laconga. And Luka Zahovic, LZ90, picks up his first goal in the FM Legend uh, on-camera games. I have played a couple in the other competition. As Scarlett Zahovic tries to... Oh, he just, he's got no no left foot passing ability. Luka Zahovic, as, uh, that's an interesting pass. Dodo tries to win the header, but it's actually fallen to Luis Suarez. And Laconga, who is captain in uh, James Ward-Prowse's absence... Makes makes a very good interception. Dodo is just being sort of run out of position a little bit here. Camavinga tries to block the shot, does. And Lukonga picks it up. Luka Zahovic. Look at that. Calm, composed, giving it straight to Robert Lewandowski. Uh, Camavinga up to Lewandowski. And Diego Lietti's there. Puts a foot in. Mikel Moreno with a good interception. Sergio Gomez up towards Scarlett. Round the corner into Jared Bone. Ref, surely a free kick. And it is. And uh, Luka Zahovic is just going to... Take this one quickly and release it to... Well, that was meant to go to Sambi Laconga. I don't know why it didn't register. Lietti's there to intercept. Scarlet Laconga, just ref again. This guy's diving in all the time. Right, short free kick. Camavinga. Gabriel. Looking up towards Dodo. Back to Gabriel. And Dodo's gone for the return down the line. We'll take the throw in. We'll take the throw in. Half an hour gone. 1-0 up. The FM Legends are playing... Playing pretty well. Camavinga, Dodo in a lot of space. Dodo flings it in. It's it's not a good cross. It's really not a good cross. It was behind everyone. Sergio Gomez tries to put a foot in. Can't get there. As, uh, oh, this guy's bringing out a dummy pass. You don't see that for a... Dummy shots, yeah, you see them. But you don't see dummy passes very often. 
Lewandowski turns, gives it out to Luka Modric, tries to put the cross in. Kamavinga gets there first. Mikel Moreno into Dodo. Out towards Sergio Gomez. Just going to try and dink this one up the line to Jared Bowen. It does work. And, uh, oh, ref, how's that not a foul? Again. Yeah, Sergio Gomez getting stuck in. Lovely to see. Lewandowski out to uh, uh, Cancelo on this right-hand side. Mikel Moreno blocks the cross. You can't ask for more than that. We've got a little bit of time left. He's got, yeah, he's got a stacked team. He really should be playing better, let's be honest. As uh, the corner is always oh, taken short to Luka Modric. Caught me a little bit off guard. Mikel Moreno does get a touch on it, but it falls there. And Lewandowski's fired that over the bar. Bloody hell. But uh, we're not hanging around. I think we can get some more goals in this. As uh, Mikel Moreno just going to keep this around the back a little bit. See if we can ping it into Dodo's chest. Not enough on it. Diego Lietti reads that pass well, though. Bowen out towards Dodo, in towards Zahovic. Luka Zahovic just drops this one off looking for Lukonga, who put a bit too much on that. Although Dane Scarlett's going to pick this one up. Dane Scarlett from range, trying to bend one. It's not going to beat Manuel Neuer with that effort. Not enough power on it at all as uh, Lewandowski flicks that one on looking for Suarez, I think that was. And he goes back down the line, looking to Suarez again. Gabriel's got to come over and cover, and Suarez just cuts inside. It's a lovely ball back. It's a great save from Henderson. And Mikel Moreno's there again to just mop up as Lukonga can, uh, can bring this one forward. Luka Zahovic looks to go over the top towards Jared Bowen, who can't quite get there first. Half time, though. 1-0 up. Luka Zahovic, LZ90 with the goal. So second half to get underway. LZ90 kicks us off. And uh, we're just going to start... A little bit by trying to trying to keep the ball and create a bit of space. Lukonga releases Gomez on the left in towards Jared Bowen. On one more to Dane Scarlett. Just has to try and hold off Van Dyke, which is a interesting thing to talk about anyway. Lukonga not I just sort of I sort of swamped then and didn't really have any any free space as uh, he's now realised that he can exploit the wings a little bit. That should be easy for Gabriel. Oh my god, what a shocking touch that is from Gabriel as I trust try to literally change direction. And that's what you get for having a centre-back Henderson again. He's made some outstanding saves, Dean Henderson. And, uh, yeah, we need to just regain a bit of composure. I'm probably sprinting a little bit too much as uh, Dodo can turn there. Jared Bowen gives it back to Dodo. We can look in towards Zahovic. Nice back heel into Lokonga. And Kamavinga can take over. Lokonga. Jared Bowen, yeah, this guy's sprinting his players out of position. Scarlett, Zahovic, Dane Scarlett, Dane Scarlett, what a save. Jared Bowen on the rebound, and it's 2-0, and a little bit of composure, a little bit of patience. Opens him up wonderfully, and Jared Bowen gets the goal. But, well, to be fair, Dane Scarlett should have scored, really, but I'm not going to complain about a rebound like that. Jared Bowen on hand to pounce, and that is what you love to see as he's going for the... Uh, the cheese down the middle straight away as uh, this is Suarez on it. Tries to put the ball through. Lemon. What? Henderson? What a save again. Dean Henderson on fire. What a save from Dean Henderson. I'll watch that replay, mate, if you want to show me that save. He's not interested. But what a save from Dean Henderson that is. As he's, uh, he's going to go short here again. Hopefully we can just... Sort of close the angle a bit, and we do. Camavinga's there to intercept, and that's a look, good ball through looking for Lukonga. Dane Scarlett has got a lot of work to do here, and he's nutmegged Van Dyke. Oh, the absolute audacity of this youngster, and then he's just got pushed in the back for the pass. Couldn't quite make it right, but the nutmeg on Van Dyke. We'll try and get a replay of that in a minute, because that was just absolutely insane. I'm just going to stand in the middle here and force him into a bad pass like that. Sergio Gomez. Up the line. Dane Scarlett flicks it around the corner. Bowen, just a heavy touch. We probably will need some substitutes in a minute. So next time it goes out... Oh, that's not a good pass. Next time it goes out, we'll try and uh, try and make some changes. Zahovic keeps it alive. Dodo, lovely little footwork to get round his man. Jared Bowen's got a lot of space in the middle. We can pick him out with a pass, although Van Dyke covers it well. And uh, Ver oh, Varane giving it away. It will be a throw-in, though, to Police FC, or whatever they're called. And we will now look to get some changes on. Yeah, tired legs all around. We're going to bring Inketia on for Scarlet up front. Sorry, Dane Scarlet. Good good game, though. Good game. Well played. And I think we're going to bring on... I mean, Dodo's knackered, but we can't really take him off. Let's just drop our, drop our wingers back a little bit, just to give us a bit more defensive solidarity. So at the moment, just a change up front. Dane Scarlet off and uh, Eddie Inketia on. So back underway then. Uh, I think he's yeah he's bought on he's bought Mbappe. So he's he's going from uh, 
strong player to strong player. I'm just going to try and cover off the positions as he brought on uh, Koke as well. Oh, what an effort from Koke. 2-1. 66 minutes gone. Um, he's picked out a wonderful goal there from Koke. Dean Henderson couldn't do anything about that one. And, yeah, 2-1. Two, two, so, let's now see how this game unfolds. We know that if we just keep our composure, we can we can probably open this guy up again. Gomez, Lukonga, Jared Bowen's pulled wide into Eddie Nketiah. Around the corner to Luka Zahovic. Tries to dink it over into Eddie Nketiah. Eddie Nketiah! Oh, we actually got a shot of Force Neuer into a save. It was a tight angle. I probably should have cancelled the shot, but with the ball bouncing and bobbling, I was uh, more than happy for it to be a, 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 a difficult chance, but now we're just going to move some people around here. We don't actually have anyone with a lot of height. Kamavinga's not too short. It's going to go all the way to the back post. Heading it back across. Lukas Ahovic with the header. It's bouncing around. Lukas Ahovic just couldn't get a good connection on that header. And uh, he's going to try and bring it away with Mbappe. We're just going to run Lukonga back into a defensive position. And uh, try and get a touch on the ball. As he's laying it out towards Renan Lodi. The left back that we've not really seen too much of in this game. As Gabriel should win that tackle. Does. So throw in 15 minutes to go. I think we're going to have to bring on some out-of-form players just to allow a little bit of rest. Although Dodo, who's one of those I'm thinking of bringing off, has, uh, well, put the interception on it, went out for another throw. So I can't really complain with that one. As uh, this guy's trying to give us the runaround. Does actually create a bit of space. Renan Lodi goes back to Frankie de Jong. Frankie de Jong puts that one through. And Kamavinga's back there putting in. Some great defensive work, and Gabriel's just going to boom this one away up towards uh, the strikers. As Eddie Nketiah surely fouled their referee, surely. As uh, Can we get an interception there? Diego Lietti with a lovely composed touch. Ten minutes to go as uh, Sergio Gomez sees the run of Jared Bowen in front of him. And Jared Bowen's still got legs. He's still running for absolute days. Jared Bowen, just a bit of a double-double touch. Jared Bowen tries to ping it in low. Oh, Zahovic couldn't quite get on that one. And now we just need to be wary of these attacks as uh, he comes forward with Mbappe and Camavinga sticks out a leg and gets a good interception. Sergio Gomez, Jared Bowen, Eddie Nketiah, Jared Bowen, Zahovic. Oh, he's, is he going to get there? Luka Zahovic? No, he's not. Renan Lodi just showing some good pace and Zahovic puts it out for a goal kick. Eight minutes to go and the FM Legend 11 are uh, playing well. And he's got an injury for Luka Modric. So is he, I say, is he going to do anything about that? I think he is. We are going to get some fresh legs on. We're going to bring on uh, James Ward-Prowse on the right-hand side for Dodo. So, not the best of changes. And we're going to do McAllister for Zahovic. And then we're going to put Jared Bowen up front with Eddie Nketiah. Just fresh legs just to keep the press on. Keep the ball moving if we can. 2-1 up with, what, eight minutes to go, I think I said. It's been a very, uh, very tough game as uh, his Neuer goes along with his goal kick. Mikel Moreno can't quite win that one. James Ward-Prowse touches it. Uh, and gets the ball away. Camavinga over towards Sergio Gomez. He looked inside. And uh, Alexis McAllister just uses his composure. Turns his man. Jarrah Bowen can't get that one. Easy interception there. And that's a lovely ball through. And Erlinger Halland is in. He's taking a heavy touch. And the ref's going to give a penalty. Because Diego Lietti has just touched the back of his leg ever so slightly. Is that a penalty? I mean, he has grabbed him. He has gone to grab him. But... I mean, this guy's Lewandowski against Dean Henderson. Lewandowski. Oh, Henderson saves it. Come on. Have that, Dean Henderson. I guess the right way. And Dean Henderson gets a low hand to it and keeps it out. Oh, Lewandowski started in the run-up. And Dean Henderson, what a save that is from Dean Henderson. As uh, it's going to be a corner in here. He's gone for this short one again. In towards Halland with a shot straight at Henderson. Absolutely nothing to worry about with that one. He's going to throw it out towards Moreno. And we're just going to try and keep the ball a little bit. Although, oh my God, I am playing a risky game right now. McAllister is back there defending. We need to get numbers back. McAllister, Lukonga, Bowen flicks it out towards McAllister again. Infield towards Lukonga. He can just turn back to Camavinga. There's three minutes of added time on here. He can, he can run Frankie de Jong around as much as he wants. Diego Lietti's going to try and ping this one out wide. It's not the best pass, although Ward-Prowse has sort of kept it alive. As uh, oh, his Halland and Lewandowski are going to be causing me troubles now. He's even got Beckenbauer on the pitch. When did he bring him on? Sergio Gomez, just boot it away, mate. 
Just just get it away as much as you can. Come on, ref. There we go. We get the win. 2-1. Goals from Zahovic and Bowen. Oh, Koke scored a wonder goal for him. Probably the pick of the bunch was the Koke goal. But we get the 2-1 win. He'll be aggrieved he didn't win. But I don't care because we get the win. And that is a win for the FM Legends 11. Lovely stuff. And you've guessed it. We're back having a spin for Paul Skulls after that win. Lovely, lovely stuff. 2-1 win for the FM Legends, which is what you want to see. Three star again. Come on, Konami. Stop stop messing me around. Just stop. You know I'm a Man United fan. You know I really want Paul Skulls. I mean, even Peter Schmeichel would be amazing. Dennis Law I'll take as well. They'd all get into my first team sort of thing, the first squad I've got. But uh, this, again, isn't a superstar player. It's someone from Crystal Palace, which means it's pretty rubbish. It's Luka Milivojevic. Come on, Konami, you bastards. It's a four-star player, this one, so we're, at least we're going up in the world. Uh, it's someone from Chelsea. It is... Oh, no, it's not. It's Castagna from Leicester City. There you go. Lovely, lovely stuff. We get a four-star player that I'm probably not going to use. And uh, Konami are just taking the piss right now. Come on. Five stars. Five stars. Uh, it's Paul Pogba. I mean, that's not bad. It's not a bad pickup, to be fair. He's very good in eFootball. Paul Pogba joins our first five-star player from those spins we're gonna keep i'm hunting for pool skulls we are hunting for pool skulls that is what we want to do in this episode and i feel like we're probably gonna run out of luck here we're probably not gonna get him but we got our first five star player in paul pogba who if he's you know on form would probably get into the team we're back to three stars though so absolutely disgusting konami come on Right, we're going to mix it up a little bit. We're going for the English League. We get three spins at these. I would love Hyunmin Son. Um, I think would be amazing. Bruno Fernandes would be good. Salah would be good. At least in this one, we're guaranteed a five star. So a little bit of a break from the Man United Paul Skulls hunt. Let's spin for the English League English Superstars. And five star player, which is always a good start. And it's going to be Thiago Silva. Not bad. A bit slow, but in the back three, I think would work really, really well. Um, again, if he hits form for Chelsea next season, when the form arrows start coming back into play and the ratings, I think that could be good. So Thiago Silva is in. Let's see who else we get. Obviously, the only one we don't really want is Jose Sarr, the goalkeeper. And now I've said that, watch us get him. Just watch. Konami know. They're listening. They're listening. We know it's the English League. It is five star again, so it's not Jose Sarr. And it is Kevin De Bruyne. Come on. That is a great pull. That is really, really good. Very happy with that one. And uh, we'll go and do our third and final spin. Kevin De Bruyne probably going to go into that strongest 11 that we're, that we're building. Uh, technically, the second best player you can get in this, uh, this selection of players. Right. Hyun Min Son, please. Hyun Min Son. His, in, his curling long shot is OP. It's another five-star player. We are spinning for days. It's another Man City player. It is Ilkay Gundogan. So we could have a Man City central midfield. There you go. So Gundogan, De Bruyne, and Thiago Silva. Not too bad at all. We do have nominating contracts we can use, but I'll probably do those off camera. Let's go back for the hunt for Paul Scholes. I think I've picked up every three-star player you can get in this pack. It's ridiculous. Um, we've had one five-star pool, three four-star pools, and a lot of three-stars. Uh, we're at, again, let's see what we get here from Konami. It's another three star. Maybe I don't have them all. Obviously, I don't. I mean, we're putting together a lovely Man United team, though. I've picked up nearly every single Man United player. I mean, if we go in and go see all, look, you'll see all of these players are five star that I've not got. Like, Paul Pogba is the only one. I've picked up Cavani. And then you go down here to three star. Look at all these that are blacked out. Oh, bloody, bloody loads of them. Bloody loads of them. Unbelievable. All I want is Paul Scholes. Not enough football coins. There we go. We're going to end it there. The hunt for Paul Skulls failed. Absolutely unbelievable. Um, gutting. But we did get a win. So it's not all bad. Thank you so much for watching. Catch you in the next one. Cheers.